people and families love the beach. I used to love it too, but I got so many bites on me from beaches that I just stopped going. Don't get me wrong, you can still go to the beach, but you need to be safe and cautious and understand the dangers that may be there and which you need to look out for. Unfortunately, most people are not aware of the dangers that lurk at the beach, and a lot of America's beaches are honestly pretty sick, and they're spreading sickness to families. So here are nine dangerous organisms that you can find at beaches. A flea can live on land and in water. The term sand flea is basically used for any type of mite that you can find in dry soil or in beach sand. These creatures are highly parasitic and they can feed on different organisms from humans to other animals like cattle, cats, and dogs. Sand fleas can be devastating because they can burrow into the feet of their hosts. They can leave you full of bites all over your feet. It can be pretty gross and pretty annoying. blooms. Most people have heard of them, but they are basically dense populations or blooms of algae that form in coastal waters. The reason they are included in this list is because they can make people sick and they can be very toxic, to the point of even being fatal. Some scientists can predict when algae will bloom and where they will occur. Always check the weather first to make sure that algae are not in bloom before going to the beach. And if the water looks strange to you, has a strange red, green, or bluish tint, then don't get in the water. What we call sea lice are actually larvae of jellyfish that float around in the ocean. Even though they're small, they can sting. And they can become trapped between your bathing suit and your skin. So it can be pretty painful, so I would try to avoid these guys if you can not help it. The stings can cause intense itching and burning, which can result in a rash and small raised blisters. The rash can last anywhere from a few days to weeks. Red mites. You can find these guys in dried and rotting seaweed piles left on the beaches. They generally get pushed up on the beach from the high tide. They bite, so I would try to avoid them if you can. Sand flies. This is a pretty general term that can really refer to any biting fly you would encounter at the beach, besides a mosquito. So it could be a horse fly or biting midges. Like with mosquitoes, it is only the female that sucks blood. But be careful of them because they can bite you a lot. Their bite is too small to feel, so you can get a ton of bites and not even notice until later when it starts to itch. This thing is pretty monstrous. Over 10 feet long, they have toxic bristles up and down their body that can cause permanent nerve damage to anyone who touches them. They feed by grabbing their prey with these massive strong jaws and sucking them down into the sand. They only leave about a tenth of their body sticking out and then they'll ambush any predators that's in shallow water. They keep their mouths completely stretched open and as soon as one of their antenna detects something in the water, they lunge for it. Even if it's significantly bigger than they are, their strikes are so powerful that they'll sometimes accidentally cut fish in half while trying to grab them. Ragworms. Their pincers are right around its face hole are very strong. They bite when threatened. It has the body of a centipede, so it is long. It can swim or move around on land. They live in holes and shallow water, and they spin a pretty nasty looking web, just like spiders. Hookworms. 
I've mentioned these guys before. Hookworm eggs are found in animals, usually dogs or cats. They hatch, and then they cause problems. The larvae live in warm, moist, sandy soil, and they are parasites, so they can penetrate human skin, even through things like beach towels or clothing. Usually, though, they will get between your toes when you walk barefoot in soil or sand. So definitely consider wearing some shoes when you go to the beach next time and avoid any contact with animal feces that you may find on the beach. Be cautious, wear footwear, take bug repellent, research any beach before going there, know the risks, clean yourself well afterwards, and you will have a much safer trip to the beach. Safe travels, everyone!